Number one on the list is vervet monkeys on the Caribbean island of St. Kitts. Alcoholic monkeys roam the beaches waiting for people to leave their drinks. Yes, there is an entire island of drunken monkeys. The green vervet monkeys were introduced to the island in the 17th century. They were brought over with slaves from Africa as pets, eventually developed a liking for alcohol in the form of fermenting sugarcane in the fields of the rum-producing island. Ever since, these monkeys have been infamous for stealing cocktails from tourists. The monkeys would sneak down from the trees, jump on the tables, and start drinking on spotting a drink that had been left unfinished. At times, they even raid local bars and beaches in search of their next cocktail. Studies of their behavior have found the monkeys' drinking habits are similar to those of people. Most drink in moderation, but around 17% drink heavily. Jaguar. While some animals accidentally come across their narcotic fix, jaguars in the Amazon rainforest will hunt for their high, parting from their animal hunting ways. Like a cat with catnip, jaguars go gaga for the bark of the yajvine, vine, also called as Banisteriopsis capi. Jaguar appears to be experiencing the hallucinogenic effects of yajvine. vine. After they have a chew, the big cat's eyes widen and they are way chill, rolling and rubbing up against trees like playful kittens. More specifically, the plant is high in monoamine oxidase inhibitors chemicals, the same chemicals that we use for the treatment of depression. It is said that these chemicals increase their senses for hunting, making them extremely aware of their surroundings. The vine is also used by Tucano Indians in a narcotic brew, which induces what they describe as jaguar eyes. Number three, bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep is found in Canadian Rockies Mountains. They suck on rocks to get high on the yellow-green variety of lichens. The lichen are extremely rare. It can take decades for them to grow over a single rock and only grow in very inhospitable regions of the Rockies, if you ever see a mountain sheep licking a rock senseless, you now know what are they up to. These lichens are very rare to find, and the bighorn sheep climb dangerous terrains risking their lives to get them. They are known to grind their teeth right to the gums to get every last bit off the rocks. You can imagine how much they love it. The lichen has no nutritional value and is poisonous in excess, which suggests that the sheep feed on them solely to get high. Number four, black lemur. Black lemur, which are endemic to the island of Madagascar, has a diet primarily made up of fruits. However, the lemur captures large red millipedes also found on the island, but not to eat. Instead, the black lemur bites the millipede gently and throw it back on the ground. When millipedes are picked up, their defense strategy is to curl up into a coil. Most millipedes also have paired glands in their legs that secrete a toxic combination of chemicals, including cyanide, which effectively deters most predators. After the lemur bites the millipede, it sprays its toxic secretion, which the lemur then rubs all over its fur. Research suggests that there is a practical purpose to this. The benzoquinone secretion functions as a natural pesticide and wards off malaria-carrying mosquitoes. The secretion also acts as a narcotic, which causes the lemur to salivate profusely and enter a state of intoxication. Number five, reindeer. Fly agaric mushrooms, also called as Amanita muscaria, been used by man for their psychotropic properties, but can be toxic. The mushrooms contain musimol, a compound that produces a sedative and hallucinogenic effect in mammals. Reindeers in northern Eurasia discovered this long ago, and they make a habit of hoovering up the red and white-flecked mushrooms like a bunch of antlered Super Marios. Reindeers go to great lengths to seek out these hallucinogenic mushrooms. Eating the fungi makes them behave drunkenly, run aimlessly, and make strange noises. Head twitching is also common. They don't seem to be bothered much by the nastier toxins in the fungi, bounding and bouncing around with glee as the muscimol hits their system.